So with that, uh, we'll go, we'll try to spend most of our time on uh, you know, taking the inputs and asking questions and, you know, discussing our uh, questions, essentially. So if you look at where we are today, we can see that some concrete work on values has been done in mainstream education through UHV since 1980s, starting with IIT Delhi, then IIIT Hyderabad, then AKTU, then it was called PTU, I mean, sorry, uh, uh, UPTU, then it was PTU, and there was this thing that, you know, this uh, UPTU has become PTU, then it will become TU, Technical University, and then it will become U, that means all universities, and that is what is happening. In 2017, AICTE steps in and it enables this national reach and it started with face-to-face -face mode. And so we were able to cover as a team, as a volunteer team even then, uh, fairly, uh, you know, fair number of people. But the pandemic in 2020 was kind of a boon for us. It was an opportunity because people were at home and AICT chairman, then Professor Cecil Budde, he motivated us to go online and uh, very, uh, with a lot of apprehension, we went in online, but uh, it really worked out very well. The first workshop that was conducted online was for Cecil Budde and the AICT team. And we asked him whether it is working okay. And then, you know, they said that it's good. And we went ahead with the online mode. And that was a very major turning point in the journey of reaching out to many people. And there was a swell in the number of very enthusiastic volunteers. Today, if we see, we have more than 500 volunteers in the volunteer family, I would say. And now maybe more than 70,000 faculty from every state of the nation have gone through these UHV FTPs. So we have a very good base. And now this effort is on for uh, <clears throat> going to universities and motivating them to appoint their UCs and UCCs so that they can take it up in their universities and all the colleges teaching institutions that are associated with these universities. So I'm very happy to share that 167 universities have appointed their UCs and UCCs. Uh, Jitendra and Munshi ji might be able to correct me if any numbers are not, not correct. Um, so that is one very heartening that many universities are able to see that this is something which uh, is uh, relevant for them relevant for the education and we can actually make effort for inculcating values uh, in a very tangible way. So that uh, uh, is taking place. And 37 or maybe more potential nodal centers have been identified. There are many institutions that have made a significant amount of effort uh, and are very potential in not only doing work within the institution, but also uh, with the institutions that are around them and then uh, statewide and then nationwide and maybe even internationally. So that is very heartening to see. And we are trying to place a lot of importance on uh, helping these potential nodal centers to develop into living models of the kind of society that we want, that we all aspire for. So uh, there is a lot of focus on that uh, from our side. There is a small team that is uh, focused on that. And it is not because we want them to be showcases of what we want. It is the... Uh, 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 sort of a gift that we got and we are sharing that gift with everyone. 
and these potential nodal centers can share that gift with many many others so it is we want or we aspire for a humane society and this process can be uh, accelerated by through these potential nodal centers they will become nodal centers uh, locally then they will become nodal centers for the state and then nodal centers for the nation and then nodal centers for the whole globe so that jani uh, we can do together then post pandemic uh, the online programs uh, continue and the face to face programs have gone nationwide in two modes one is the self funded mode and uh, i'm delighted to share that since the january of this month more than 80 fdps have been conducted in face to face mode in self funded face to face mode uh, this is something very very important because not only are institutions able to see that this is relevant for them and aict is helping them to conduct these but they are willing to place uh, you know spend some physical facility to enable this to happen and they are not only doing it for themselves they are also uh, inviting faculty and uh, senior people from other institutions so this is really very heartening aict funded fdps have been there before and are continuing and 10 UHV two FDPs are planned in December and January, so <clears throat> that's where we are. Uh, the purpose of these AICT funded programs is to prepare the resource persons, faculty, and faculty that is teaching UHV two. If we can prepare them, they will be able to take it forward in a very meaningful way, and uh, that will make a lot of difference. so that is the first aim another aim is to prepare the coordinators if they are enthused about this possibility and work on it it will help a lot of uh, uh, institutions i know of individual uh, ucs and rcs and potential nodal center coordinators who have made such a great difference an individual making a difference to a whole university so these uh, Uh, our preparation our uh, 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 commitment is going to be uh, it's going to spread to others in side my institution outside my institution and to the students and the whole community so that will happen if we are prepared ourselves then the third part is to develop the volunteer teams we have already got a large number of volunteers and for the development of the volunteer teams starting from their self development to team development and then they together will be able to contribute to the societal development so that is another purpose to develop our volunteer teams fourth one is to uh, make it a nationwide uh, phenomenon so that Uh, we can uh, contribute to national development so this is the purpose of aict funded programs and the programs include fdps volunteer team meetings regional conferences national conferences international conferences and i forgot to write management development programs and leadership development programs so those are all programs that aict may be able to fund and if we are able to fund them uh, by if the institution is able to fund them then it is even better because that will have a lot more commitment of the institution so the institutions that are more committed will certainly uh, do the self funded more much more than the aict funded more they won't be looking for you know help from others they'll be more and more self uh, self driven and self motivated 
So these are the 10 um, FDPs that have been planned. They start in December. 12th of December is the start date. And then they follow from, uh, there are two that are starting in December on 12th, 12th of December itself. So like that there are, no, there are three. This is also 12th of December. This is also 12th of December. So four of them are starting on 12th of December in parallel. So it's very nice that. Uh, we have five FDPs are in December. That's a five are in, no, See, 12th uh, of December. Uh, yeah, 12th, five, uh, one is 18. Yeah, it's amazing that four workshops can happen in parallel. So that means there is a resource team that can take care of this in parallel. So, so nice. So that's uh, the 10 FDPs. Now, two of these FDPs are very special FDPs. And these are for this category of people. The RC, the UC, UCCs potential nodal center coordinators and faculty teaching UHV2. So this category of people will uh, try to focus in these two workshops, especially for them, but all the other FDPs will also have the same, same content. And uh, this set of people, the faculty teaching UHV2, the RCs, UCs, UCCs, and potential nodal center coordinators. They will be specially given, uh, you know, little uh, uh, priorities so that uh, uh, the purpose of what we are doing is then further hastened. So these are the FTPs that are happening, uh, that are uh, planned right now. And this set of sessions that we will have maybe three or four sessions uh, this is the first one of those is to prepare the resource team and this particular session is to help prepare the resource persons team the resource persons team basically consists of the resource person the co-facilitator and the observer and from the institution side, there is the LPC and their team. So since this particular session is focused on content and how to deliver the content, that is what we are going to talk about. And uh, we have uh, uh, given some homework. Uh, it was given late last night, so I don't know if anybody would have been able to do it. Um, but whoever has started looking into it, they will see that it is uh, quite useful. And uh, uh, I would encourage you to do it even after this uh, uh, is over. And in the homework, there is uh, all these things also to go through. Uh, the recordings of how to share, they are available in Hindi and English. And there are other documents that, uh, books and documents to read. So the textbook and the teacher's manual is there. It's available uh, online. You can download it from the uhv.org.in uh, website. Uh, the second edition is in print and you might be having that. But if you uh, would like to, you can download the third edition uh, freely from the uhv.org.in website. Then there is this UHV for HVBE document, which is quite an important document from providing a base for our uh, view on how to go about it. How to go about the process. And the UHV cell document is about how I can organize my university or my college to uh, work on UHV work on holistic and value-based education. So these are the things that can help to prepare ourselves with this material. So coming to this particular session, uh, we would like to cover the vision behind 
uh, you know, this work on UHB. And then go into the purpose of the UHB 2 FDP, the content, uh, the session plan, uh, process. We are co-explorers and not preachers and all that. We'll go into that. And then we'll have Q&A. Uh, and all these questions are there, how to share and how to take questions and what is expected conduct of the resource team, uh, what are the roles and responsibilities of the resource team. So those things will probably cover the last two points we'll cover in the uh, next session or future sessions. But uh, today's session will cover these first few points, the vision, the purpose, and the Q&A uh, along with that. So now uh, I would request Ganesh Ji to uh, share the vision. Uh, welcome, Ganesh Ji. Namaste. Namaste, Ganesh Ji. Ganeshi, would you like to share your presentation or shall I share from this? Abhi to aap share kar dijiye. Phir mm -hmm. main shift karunga. Okay, okay. Kya abhi log hai yahi? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. ठीक है मेरी आवाज आ रही है ठीक से बिल्कुल बढ़िया आ रही है गणेश जी एकदम फर्स्ट क्लास ओके सो वेलकम एवरीबॉडी सो इन दिस सेशन टू बिगिन विथ वी वांट टू शेयर आवर विजन विजन ऑफ यूएचबी व्हाट वी इंटेंड ओवरऑल टू डेवलप फॉर आवर सेल्फ एंड फॉर अदर्स and ultimately take it to the mainstream education. So if we look at the essence, there are two uh, part of it. One part is about our living, living of human being. And the other part is the existence. And we, the human being, are an integral part of this existence. So if you look at this uh, diagram here, the left side is talking about the living of a human being, of each one of us. And the right side is talking about the existence, existence as it is. And then this double arrow is the connection between the two, how they are connected, how my living is connected to this existence. So if I have clarity about the left part, about the right part, and about the connectivity, then I can live a very meaningful and fulfilling life. If any of the three is missing or there is some problem, then it is difficult for us 
to live a meaningful and fulfilling life. So in a sense, what we are saying is that we all want to live. That is one thing that each one of us can verify. And you want to live with happiness. That is second thing. And third is that we want to live with continuity of happiness. So what do you think? Can we verify this, all of us? So this is there. Then we can see that we are embedded in this existence, in this nature. So we are not just floating, you know. We are an integral part of this existence. Existent, integral part of this nature. And therefore, we need to understand this existence, this nature. And third is that we are living in this existence. So we are connected to this nature, this existence, and therefore we have to understand our being or becoming in this existence, in this nature. So there are three things. One, our existence as a human being. Second, existence or nature as a whole. And third is our living in this existence, in this nature. So essentially, we need to understand ourselves, the human being, we need to understand the existence and we need to understand living of human being in this existence, in this nature. And what we are talking about in all these courses related to USV is essentially this. We are trying to cover different aspects of these three things. Right? The human being, the existence, and human being living in existence in a meaningful manner, in a fulfilling manner. Is that clear? Or there is any question on this? So I'll take one example of what we are talking in ESV2. So if you move to the next slide. Yeah. So this is largely what we are discussing in ESV2, the second course on universal human values. The discussion goes around these two things. Number one, identifying our purpose. And then number two, identifying our program. 
So when we identify our purpose, you can see that human aspiration is continuity of happiness. And happiness is to be in harmony. And therefore, our program is to understand this harmony and to live in harmony at all levels of our being. Starting from human being to family to society to nature and existence. So we have to understand the human being. We have to understand this nature, this existence. We have to understand the human being living in this nature in existence, which would mean our living as a family, as a member of the society, as a member of the nature. And if you understand all this, and we see the harmony at each of these levels, and we are able to live in that harmony, then we are in a state of harmony and happiness in continuity. So this is what we are trying to you know, share in EHV2. Trying to understand the human being, trying to understand the whole, the goal of human being, the aspiration of human being, trying to understand what is the program of human being. And in order to work out the program, we can see that we have to understand the harmony at all levels of our existence starting from self, human being, to the whole existence. So this is one example of what we were saying in the last slide. That basically we have the human being, the existence, and the human being living in existence. These three things, which are depicted here, is being articulated and presented in EHB 2. The interesting thing is that if we take this approach, one major shift that we will see is that till now we thought happiness is something to be achieved from outside. Now we can understand that happiness is something which is being in harmony. Being in harmony within and being in harmony with the world outside. So this is something which has to be ensured within first and it has to be expressed outside with the world in terms of behavior or in terms of work or in terms of participation. So happiness is basically my state of being. My state of being where I understand the harmony, I have the feeling and thought of harmony. And therefore, I am able to live in harmony with the world outside. So this living in harmony with the world outside is an outcome of my state of being in harmony with it. And if you look at this harmony, you can see this harmony at the level of the nature, at the level of every unit in nature. So at the level of human being, at the level of family, at the level of society, at the level of nature, at the level of existence, at all these levels, we can see this harmony. 
and it is this harmony if you look at the level of existence it looks as coexistence and it is this harmony when you look at the level of fulfillment of this harmony among the parts of the system then it reflects as relationship so harmony is at the base it is coexistence at the level of existence and at the level of ensuring harmony with the other things outside it is relationship so all three are connected the coexistence the harmony the relationship so at the base of harmony there is coexistence and as an expression of the harmony is their relationship so in essence this is what we are trying to understand this is what we are trying to live with this is what we are trying to share with others and it is our understanding that this is something which has to go as a part of the main stream education or rather it has to become the basis of education basis of main stream education so it is with this understanding that we are trying to develop all these courses under the name of universal human values under the name of ehv so if you look at this eight courses which have been developed okay i can just briefly talk about them we can give you a just feel of it yet we one is basically trying to see the situation which we are in today and see what are the problems that we are facing and what are the possible solutions right so we are starting with the problems because there are problems around and that is what we are used to focus to but then soon we are saying that just listing the problem is not the solution we may begin with the problems but we have to work out the solutions right and the way to get to the solution is to understand the reality of our concern so if there is a relationship if there is a problem in relationship between one human being and another human being then it means that i have to pay attention to this human human relationship and i have to understand this human human relationship and if we understand that human human relationship and if we understand the feelings in the relationship and if we are able to ensure these feelings in ourselves and share this feeling with others then there can be a fulfilling relationship and that is the solution and if that solution is there the problem will be automatically solved so this is what we are trying to draw the attention of the teachers and the students that there are problems yes but then there are solutions also to these problems and what we have to focus on is the solution and this solution is based on right understanding of the reality right understanding of our own self right understanding of the other unit with which i am relating to and then understanding our relationship between these two units and fulfilling that relationship that is the solution so basically usb one is trying to draw the attention to this fact that we need to understand the reality ourselves 
the other realities, ultimately the whole existence. And we need to understand our relationship with every unit in existence. If we can do that, then we have the solution. We understand how to fulfill relationship and we are able to get to the solution. With that, you know, drawing the attention towards the understanding of the, you know, the um, realities of the existence of the nature of the human being. Then we are trying to understand this basic reality of human being, the existence and the human being living in existence in EHV2. EHV2 is giving an overview, overview about human being, about the existence, about the living of human being in this existence. But then in EHV3, we are trying to expand this, you know, further. In EHV3, we are trying to understand human being in detail, the nature and existence in detail. So what was given as an overview in EHV2, out of that, the understanding part of human being, nature and existence is expanded in detail in EHV3. In EHB 4, we are talking about the vision for a human society, which essentially means role of human being and its expression in relationship and system in the human society. So the EHB 3 is detailing out the understanding part and EHB 4 is detailing out the expression of this understanding in the living of human being, in terms of his behavior with other human being, in terms of his work with rest of nature, in terms of its participation in the higher order, starting from family, ultimately to the human society. So these are the base things that we uh, are talking about from EHV 1 to EHV 4. Once we have this basic fundamental understanding of human being, the existence and the role of human being in existence, then we are trying to see what was it that different darshans, you know, different philosophies that we have, have been talking about. So in that context, we are talking about different darshans which we have in the tradition and how they are essentially talking about this understanding and this living in harmony. So we have uh, developed courses like human values in Vedic darshan, the six darshans of Veda, you know, relate to Vedas the Sank, the Yog, the Nyaya, the Vaisesik, the Mimansa and Vedant. So what they are talking about human being, about the existence, about the role of human being in this existence. And on the basis of that, how human values emerges. So we have one course on understanding the human values in six Vedic Darshan, then human values in Baud and Jain Darshan, human values in Madhyas Darshan. So all these Darshans talk about the understanding of this basic reality and living of human being in that existence. So that we are trying to explore. The basic idea of offering this course is to see that all these darshans are essentially converging at the level of understanding of this basic reality. They have different ways of expression and different emphasis when it comes to expression. But in essence, as far as the understanding of these basic realities is concerned, they are saying more or less the same thing. But this has to be explored. That is what we are doing. 
THB5. Then once we have this base understanding, then we can discuss it, you know, or look into the specific subjects, right? So we have this human psychology, human sociology, human economics. Six has two parts. One is human psychology and one is holistic human health. So one has to do with the psychology part, the self part in detail, and the other has to do with the health, the self and the body together, and how it reflects in the health of the body. So that is <clears throat> trying to work out the further details about how this development of the self takes place and what are the activities of the self and how they are interrelated and how this harmony in different activities of the self will ultimately, ultimately lead to complete harmony and happiness, continuity of happiness in the self. And in the health, holistic human health, we are trying to discuss that with a healthy self, how it will reflect in terms of the health of the body and what we have to do to ensure the health of the body or harmony in the body. The human sociology is detailing about our living in harmony with other human beings, that is human behavior in detail. And human economics is basically trying to deal with our relationship with the rest of nature or with the entire nature and how we are, you know, we can be fulfilling for this nature and fulfilling for ourselves through this human economics. Which will ensure both. It will ensure harm, prosperity in human being and also ensure the preservation of the rest of nature. So, in essence, we can see that what we have depicted in the first slide are expanded in all these eight courses through. Yes. So, this is one part of what I wanted to share with you. If you have any question up to this, then I'll respond to it. If there are any questions, you can just unmute and share. Don't hesitate. My idea of this presentation is not just to convey a few points. But my idea of this presentation is also that I get acquainted with some of you with whom I am not acquainted, you know, at least by face. And with those who are already acquainted, I feel responsible to respond to them okay, or share with them. So that is my main idea. Rajiv bhai, you were saying something about Rajiv bhai. Yes, I was saying that Surya Khan ji has raised his hand. You can please unmute and share. Yes. Ganesh sir, namaste. And namaste everyone. Namaste. Namaste Surya Khan ji. Ah, namaste. Bhaiya, I have a small question. 
the growth in self is linear and self is existing all the time and why not uh, already the grown selves like what we call uh, the social reformers like vivekananda basavarna why not they are not still coming back uh, in this society to improve further why not it is not happening भैया मेरा क्वेश्चन क्लियर है या 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 दिस पॉइंट इज वेरी सिंपल लाइक यू नो मेनी थिंग्स राइट एंड यू वांट टू शेयर इट आल्सो यस बे बट डू यू गो एनीवेयर एंड स्टार्ट शेयरिंग इट मैं भी इन द लिमिटेड यू लुक फॉर अ प्रॉपर एनवायरनमेंट Yes, yes. Right. Proper conditions. You look for yes. people who are welcoming, isn't it? Yes, yes, boy. Right. Yes. So you have so many good ideas, and you also want to share with others. But you seek for yes. appropriate people and appropriate conditions. And if they are there, you share. If they are not there, you don't share. You wait. Isn't it? Yes, yes, my yeah, yes. So, like we have people who are willing to go and conduct workshops in a self-finance mode, right? Yes. But that is not enough. We need to have colleges where there are people who are willing to hold this, you know, organize this self-funded this thing. There is a system which is willing to support it. so all that is required so the condition with these people are also the similar so they wait for the conditions and the people who are going to welcome them isn't it yes yes bhai yes 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 thank you bhai thank you very much ganesh sir ji namaste yeah in fact what we are saying essentially is that you know when this kind of thing becomes paid part of the mainstream education then we'll have both the things we'll have the favorable situation and we'll have the people who are welcoming right yes so such people will find a proper place on this earth isn't it yes yes bhai so what we need to do is to make this as part of the mainstream education then there will be so many of us like once this chv2 is made part of the syllabus by iict now there are thousands of teachers okay, who are willing to listen to this understand this right they are also willing to spend time on this on their own right now there are students also coming up developing through this so this is creating a favorable condition so rajul ji was just saying that we had right from january we have around 80 self finance workshop because there are people who want to listen there is a system which is supporting it so there are people who want to share they have an opportunity and they are going and sharing so that is what we are trying to do we are trying to create people who will go and share we are trying to create people who are willing to listen understand and we are trying to create system which is welcoming such things i would say that is that human being is longing to know longing to share and longing to uh, be heard yes and uh, that needs a conducive environment and if there is anybody in the whole world who is willing to listen 
without the interruptions and all that and is able to absorb it is very very fulfilling yeah. yes yes yeah. and of course if you if we are able to share something meaningful it will help the other also so those conditions have to be developed by us yes and we have to do the work so we are in that process of doing that yes yes yeah. so, sri lekha ji has a has her hand raised sri lekha ji namaste bhaiya yes, yes namaste sabhi ko uh भैया हम मॉर्निंग सेशन अटेंड करते हैं दस मिनट का ऑब्जर्वेशन रखते हैं और दिन भर उसको ऑब्जर्व करना है ऐसे सोच के काम पे लग जाते हैं लेकिन उस वो काम करते वक्त मुझे ऐसे ध्यान में आया कि मैं भटक रही हूँ कई बार ध्यान जाता भी है कई बार नहीं भी जाता है तो Uh, मेरा ऐसा सोचना हुआ कि अभी एक जगह पे बैठ के पूरा मेडिटेट ही करना पड़ेगा पूरा वक्त देना पड़ेगा तभी मैं ये बात समझ पाऊंगी और उसके लिए मेरा मन बन रहा है तो क्या ये बात सही रहेगी भैया या मुझे काम करते ही उसे ऑब्जर्व करना है देखिए इसके अप्रोच के रूप में इफ यू अगर देखेंगे ना तो ये तीन चीजें तो हमेशा रहती हैं आप भी रहते हैं आपके अराउंड का जो वातावरण है है ना नेचर वो भी रहता है और आपका जो रिलेशनशिप है इनके साथ वो भी रहता है ठीक है ना तो वो तो हमेशा रहेगा ही इतना ही अंतर हो सकता है कि इस प्रोसेस का जो ये सेल्फ इंक्वायरी का प्रोसेस है उसके लिए वो कंडीशिव है कि नहीं Okay. तो आप इतना ही कह रहे हैं कि हम एक कंडीशिव इन्वायरमेंट ऐसा चाहते हैं जहां पर ये सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन का काम ज्यादा अच्छे से हो सके जी भैया ठीक है ना इतना ही चॉइस है तो कुछ छोड़कर कुछ पकड़ने का मुद्दा नहीं है मुद्दा यह है कि जो हमारा इन्वायरमेंट है जो हमारे अराउंड की सराउंडिंग है जिससे हम रिलेटेड रहते ही है वो अगर ऐसा हो कि जो हमारे सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन के प्रोसेस को फैसिलिटेट करता है तो ज्यादा अच्छा होगा अगर वो फैसिलिटेट नहीं करता या बाधित करता है तो थोड़ा हमारे लिए मुश्किल होता है दो तो तरह की पॉसिबिलिटी है इसमें एक पॉसिबिलिटी यह है कि इस इन्वायरमेंट को ही मैं ठीक कर लू ठीक है ना एक तरीका ये दूसरा तरीका ये है कि हम एक अनुकूल वातावरण ढूंढ लें और वहां पर कुछ समय लगा दें जी तो मुझे लगता है कि पहला तरीका को अगर हम काम कर सकते हैं देन इट इज हायर चांस ऑफ मल्टीप्लिकेशन जी जी भैया लेकिन अगर लगता है कि वो नहीं हो पा रहा है तो दूसरा तरीका प्रयोग करना ठीक तो जैसे देखिए अभी हम लोग यश के काम में अगर देखेंगे आप तो पूरे काम में लोगों को रिप्लेस करने का काम नहीं कर रहे हैं। लोग जहां पर है वहीं उनका कॉम्पिटेंस डेवलप करने का काम कर रहे हैं और जैसे जैसे वो कॉम्पिटेंस डेवलप होता है वैसे वैसे वो अपने वातावरण को बहुत अनुकूल बना लेता है तो जैसे आप अपने पीबीजी में अगर देखेंगे ना? तो पीबीजी में एक लोग दो लोगों ने वर्कशॉप किया धीरे धीरे है ना अभी आपके पास दस बारह लोग हो गए अभी आप दस बारह लोगों ने मिलकर पीवीजी में एक और पहले जितना अनुकूल वातावरण था उससे ज्यादा अनुकूल वातावरण बना लिया है ठीक है नहीं अभी आप उसको नोडल सेंटर की तरह डेवलप करने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं तो इससे क्या है कि इस तरह की चीजों की बहुत मल्टीप्लिसिटी है अभी आप उसको पीवीजी में कर लेंगे तो आप एक न्यूडल सेंटर की तरह सौ और ऐसे कॉलेजेस को डेवलप कर सकते हैं जी भैया तो उससे जो मेन स्ट्रीम एजुकेशन में चीजों के जाने का और पूरे सिस्टम को ही रिवाइटलाइज करने का काम था वो ज्यादा अच्छे से हो सकता है हम्म है कि नहीं जी 
अगर आप शिफ्ट करेंगे किसी बने बनाए दूसरे सिस्टम में जाएंगे जहां की आपको लगता है कि आपको अनुकूल वातावरण मिलेगा है ना तो उसकी मल्टीप्लिसिटी तो अभी कम होती है फिर ये सिस्टम कैसे ठीक होगा ये भी नहीं पता चलता और उस सिस्टम में जब हम जाते हैं तो वहां उसके अपने एडवांटेजेस होते हैं और अपने प्रॉब्लम भी होते हैं जी तो उसमें भी जाकर मेहनत तो हमको करनी ही पड़ेगी फिर भी बट मैं कहूंगा कि दोनों तरीके हो सकते हैं पहले तरीके में मल्टीप्लीकेशन ज्यादा आसान है जैसे यूएचवी का काम इतनी तेजी से बढ़ पा रहा है क्योंकि हम अभी किसी को वहां से रिप्लेस होने की बात नहीं कर रहे जी जहाँ है वही उनका कॉम्पिटेंस डेवलप हो जाए इसकी बात कर रहे हैं ठीक है कि नहीं जी जी और एक प्रश्न था भैया जी मैंने आज मॉर्निंग सेशन में भी शून्य के बारे में जो हमारा एक्सप्लोरेशन चल रहा है तो मुझे ये बात थोड़ा सा और समझनी थी कि अगर हर एक मटेरियल किसी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स से एक दूसरे से बंधे हुए हैं कोवेलेंट है आयनिक बॉन्ड जो कुछ भी है उससे वो एक दूसरे को रिकोगनाइज कर रहे फुलफिल कर रहे हैं तो कॉन्शियसनेस बॉडी के साथ जो जुड़ता है वो इमोशंस uh, से जुड़ रहा है ऐसे uh, मेरा अभी मानना ही है मैंने अभी उसको एक्सप्लोर नहीं किया है पूरी तरह से तो क्या वो शून्य में से जो एक्सचेंज कर रहा है वो फीलिंग्स को ही एक्सचेंज कर रहा है या मतलब वहां पे थोड़ा सा वो बॉन्डिंग कैसा है भैया बॉडी के साथ को एग्जिस्टेंस होने का थोड़ा सा मुझे uh, और उसको इस, समझना इस, इस प्रश्न पर अभी नहीं बात करते हम लोग हम्म क्योंकि इस का जो आ, आशा है ना प्रेजेंट करने का वो तो एक ओवरऑल विजन का है ना ये तो बहुत फाइनल डिटेलिंग में जाएंगे तो फिर वो काम नहीं हो पाएगा ठीक है भैया तो नेक्स्ट ये बात अभी हमने एक बार रखी कि ओवरऑल क्या बात हम करना चाह रहे हैं और उसको करने के लिए किस तरह से ये सारे कोर्सेज को डिजाइन किया गया है अभी हम लोग और उसमें क्या अप्रोच हमको लेना है उसको लेकर अगर बात करेंगे ना तो अभी ठीक रहेगा इस कॉन्टेक्स्ट में ठीक है भैया कोई मैं बट इस पर हम लोग बात कर सकते हैं अलग से है ना हाँ ठीक है भैया गणेशी यू आर कमिंग टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट एंड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड सो लेखा जी कैन रेज दिस क्वेश्चन इन दैट दैट वुड बी नाइस बिल्कुल जस्ट ब्रीफली इन इंग्लिश दैट आवर एफर्ट कैन बी आईदर टू either outside to have a conducive environment where we are happy or go to some environment where we think that will be happier so that is one possibility the other possibility is that we work on ourselves developing ourselves and developing our environment wherever we are so uh, which approach is uh, you know more scalable more uh, long term that is one uh, point and the second point is that the work on uhb is uh, uh, of the second kind that we are uh, trying to do the self development the team development and the societal development is a natural outcome of that so our environment will improve if we are doing that third part so briefly i have put it in my own words it's not the same words that you need to use उसके नेक्स्ट का राजू भाई देख सकते हैं हम लोग What to share आ गया ये वाला स्लाइड हाँ नहीं इसका वो दिखाएं इसके पहले पिछले स्लाइड क्या था इसके पिछले अच्छा ठीक ठीक राइट तो इस डी डी क्लारिटी ऑफ दिस ब्रॉड फ्रेमवर्क दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट 
now we can uh, talk about these three things mainly what to share how to share and why to share so if you look at what to share there are three things the coexistence the harmony the relationship so this is what the whole existence is if you look at the whole existence the whole nature okay these are three basic reality the coexistence the harmony the relationship so this is one set of things that we have to share And then there are three parts of it as far as our living with it is concerned. Number one, to understand what is there. Hey. Then to be in accordance with it. And then to do in accordance with it. So basically three things. The coexistence, harmony and relationship is already there. I have to understand this coexistence, this harmony, this relationship. then i have to ensure this feeling of coexistence harmony and relationship and then when i am living in my relationship with others outside i have to ensure the fulfillment of this coexistence harmony and relationship so basically this is what has to be shared number 1 what is there in existence number 2 what i have to become in this existence and what i have to do in this existence so when we try to understand what is there in existence we also understand ourselves as an integral part of it and then we are able to see what we have to do in this existence so what we have to do is to understand this existential reality Right, which is coexistence, harmony, and relationship. Then we have this feeling of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. Feeling and the thought, and then we are living in relationship with other human being, behaving with other human being, in terms of this harmony and relationship. Working with rest of nature in terms of this harmony and relationship, and participating in the larger order. In accordance with the harmony at that order that level of the order so this is what is to be shared right we'll do some more detailing later but in a sense this is what we have to share now the second question is how to share the answer is very simple if everything is in accordance with coexistence harmony and relationship then our process of sharing will be through this coexistence harmony and relationship so whenever i am sharing something whenever i am doing something right i do it through relationship i do it through relationship so one of the thing that we will talk about later is when i am sharing these concepts in any workshop right now what is the basic methodology what is the basic process the basic process is to be in relationship with the people with whom i am sharing so to be able to establish that relationship with the people with the audience is what is important sharing the content is one part having that feeling in relationship and communicating that feeling of relationship and establishing that feeling of relationship is very central if we are able to do that if we are able to connect to the people in a meaningful manner 
then we will also be able to communicate these things in a more effective manner. So the content is important, but communicating the content depends largely on my having this feeling of relationship with the other, establishing that relationship, right? And taking the responsibility in relationship. Then I shall be able to communicate. In fact, if you look at the whole EHB team, the way it is working, it is working through relationship. It is not working through some you know, forced system. It is working through relationship. So if we have understood something, we are trying to live up to it. We are trying to share it with others. Share with others with whom I am feeling related. So out of my feeling of relationship, I am sharing. And with that feeling of relationship, I'm also trying to nurture the other. So not only I'm placing my ideas and letting him, letting the other to explore and it ends there. I take the responsibility in my relationship. I nurture the other. And in the process of nurturing the other, I develop the team or rather team develops in the process. And then we two together, we can do you know same thing with other people. And that is how things are multiplying. So whenever I'm sharing with others, I'm sharing it out of my feeling of relationship with the other. Where I want to share because he is a part and parcel of my you know, relationship, I take the responsibility that this process of exploration develops in him. In him. I do the hand-holding. I do the necessary nurturing of the other. So all that will be included. So that is how this UHV team is developing. So when I'm taking a workshop, the central point or the process is that of relationship. In general, the process is of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And the third is why to share. Why do you want to share at all? So we want to share because we want to ensure this coexistence, harmony, and relationship. That is the purpose. And this coexistence, harmony, and relationship, and living in this coexistence, harmony, and relationship is what leads to my happiness, the happiness of the other, and happiness of everyone the well-being of all. So ultimately, we are doing all this for ensuring the well-being of all, which will be ensured through ensuring living in coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And in order to do that, we are sharing this understanding of coexistence, harmony, and relationship with others through the process of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. through the process of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. So ultimately, if you see, what is there at the base is coexistence, harmony, and relationship. The process of going around about is through coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And the end of it is, again, this realization of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And as we said, understanding of this harmony 
this relationship, this coexistence, and living in this harmony, this relationship, this coexistence, is what makes me happy, what makes the other happy, what makes everyone happy. It leads to the continuity of one and the, leads to the continuity of happiness for one and for all. And how this reflects in all this content from UHB 1 to UHB 8 is what we have just described. And of course, there are other questions related to this. When to share, where to share, with whom to share, and how much to share. Right. All these are depending on the situations. This four, five, six, seven is dependent on the situation. First three are general. So what to share, how to share, why to share is general. But four, five, six, seven is situation specific. With whom to share, when to share, where to share, how much to share, all these details are very, you know, situation dependent. So the answers to this will also depend upon the situation. But the general idea we already have you know, described. Yes. Any question on this? I'm only taking up the basic, you know, very foundational issues. And expansion I can do through responding to the questions. But otherwise also we have the slides and we'll give those descriptions. But it is better that it comes through interactions. Yes. Any question? Uh, namaste, Ganesh Bhaiya. Namaste, Namaste. Uh, Bhaiya, uh, as in the most of the workshop, if we see uh, participants are looking forward to the excitement part of activity and other stuff. So how to deal with this? The excitement part. Yeah, they want more activity kind of uh, questions we often used to see. So, I mean, listen. So, what, what, how to deal with this? Yeah, what I was saying, you know, this feeling of relationship is something very important. Okay, Bhaiya. Yeah. So, if I am feeling related to the others mm -hmm. and I am involving in the discussion with that feeling of relationship so if we do it through this feeling of relationship i think people will find it interesting if that relationship and the feeling of relationship part is missing then it becomes very, you know, boring. And people feel tired. So that is one thing I would say. Second thing is that if you have that feeling of relationship and you feel concerned for the other, then you will be able to get ideas. You know? In fact, most of the examples that you see in these books or otherwise discussion, they have, you know, evolved through this process. They have evolved through this process of interacting with others with a feeling of relationship. Right? So they will slowly emerge. 
if we have that feeling of relationship and we are interacting with that feeling of relationship then people will not look for these excitements this relationship itself is a very you know uh, meaningful for people very exciting for people but in order to have that feeling we have to have this you know basic understanding about the relationship and that you know also that confidence has to come that the other person to whom i am presenting something sharing something he is my relative not an opposite person what happens generally is that i get intense and i feel that this other person is going to create problem for me and if that is the case then all my presentation everything is disturbed then the other person finds it very boring so i would say that these examples and activity they will emerge if there is a feeling of relationship and it is being established there but i will certainly uh, kind of suggest that if you are working with that feeling of relationship and in the process many examples are coming up many exercises activities you know you are getting an as an idea then you should try to introduce you know work with those examples with those activities and if something very workable comes up you can pass on to us we'll compile them you know and make it available to everybody else i think it is now time you know that now we are going to larger and larger number of people so there will be more diverse kind of you know uh, uh, people who are getting exposed to this and we need more probably you know examples and activities and exercises and all that so we should try working with a feeling of relationship and develop these examples these exercises these activities these projects and all that and if you find any of these effective you know you can pass it on to us and we can develop it as a pool but people want to connect right? they want to have meaningful interaction not on the excitement so that connectivity we have to provide that meaningfulness we have to provide Yeah. Thank you, Bayer. Thank you, Bayer. Yeah, Nidhi, Nidhi ji. Ah, uh, ji, namaste, sir. Namaste, namaste. Sir, ye ah uh, how to share ka jo part hai na. मुझे ऐसा ध्यान में आया कि जब फेस टू फेस वर्कशॉप्स होते हैं तो मेरा अभी तक का अभ्यास वैसा काफी एक्सप्रेसिव होने का है तो मैं जब बात रख रही होती हूँ तो बहुत जेस्चर्स और मतलब बॉडी जेस्चर्स और फेशियल एक्सप्रेशंस भी काफी एक्सप्रेसिव होते हैं तो उस टाइम में शायद वो उन लोगों के साथ कनेक्ट करने में हेल्प करता होगा पर मुझे ऐसे बाद में लगता है कि इससे शायद जो एक्सप्लोरेशन होने वाला था उनमें अगर मैं थोड़ी और स्थिर बनी रहती तो वो ठीक से हो पाता पर इसके किसी कंक्लूजन पर मैं नहीं आई हूँ तो मुझे वो समझना था कि वो बैलेंस कैसे हो इस एक बार रिपीट कर दीजिए लास्ट जो क्वेश्चन आपने कहा सर मेरा ये है कि जो लोग बहुत एक्सप्रेसिव हैं मतलब मैं तो जब ये पर्टिकुलरली हम यूएचवी की बात रखते हैं फेस टू फेस मोड में ऑनलाइन में वो बहुत संयमित होता है लेकिन फेस टू फेस मोड में वो किस तरह से बैलेंस हो
ताकि कनेक्टिविटी भी मेंटेन रहे और आ, बाद में आ, ध्यान उनका सिर्फ एक्सप्रेशन पर अटकने से ज्यादा एक्सप्लोरेशन की तरफ भी बढ़ जाए वही वो तो हम कोई मतलब अपने को ही ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा इस बात को कि हमारा ध्यान कंटेंट पर है या सिर्फ उसके एक्सप्रेशन पर चला गया तो अगर हमारा ध्यान कंटेंट पर रहे और एक्सप्रेशन उसका एक प्रोसेस है उस पर ध्यान दिलाने का ये रहेगा तो हम एक्सप्रेशन को उतना ही उसको व्यवस्थित रखेंगे रेगुलेटेड रखेंगे तो वो ध्यान हमारा खुद का रहना जरूरी है है ना? कि जो एग्जिस्टेंशियल रियलिटी है एग्जिस्टेंशियल रियलिटी के जो बेसिक लॉज हैं, उसको हमको समझना है उसको दूसरे के तरफ दूसरों का ध्यान आकर्षण कराना है उसको समझने में सहयोग करना है ये मुख्य बात है उसको करने के प्रोसेस में हम एक्सप्रेशन को ला रहे हैं तो अभी जो बात हुई ना पहले जो क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था कि लोगों को एक्साइटमेंट चाहिए तो एग्जाम्पल्स चाहिए एक्सरसाइज चाहिए एक्टिविटीज चाहिए प्रोजेक्ट्स चाहिए ये सब हम देंगे लेकिन ये हम बैलेंस बनाए रखेंगे क्लैरिटी बनाए रखेंगे कि जो कोर कंटेंट है वो हमको कम्युनिकेट करना है उस कोर कंटेंट को कम्युनिकेट करने के दृष्टि से ये सब उपयोगी है ये हमको क्लियर रहेगा है ना तो हम उस काम को ठीक से कर पाएंगे और उसमें फिर जितना हमारा एक्सप्रेशन इफेक्टिव होगा उतना ही हम भी कर पाएंगे बट हर बार लौट कर हम अपने बिंदु पर आ जाएंगे कंटेंट पर आ जाएंगे उसके संदर्भ में कुछ बातें आगे हम लोग करेंगे ना ये जो हाउ टू शेयर को जब डिटेलिंग करेंगे ना तो एक महत्वपूर्ण बात ये करेंगे कि जब भी हम कोई बात कर रहे हैं तो हमको ये क्लियर होना चाहिए कि हम किन वास्तविकताओं को इंगित कर रहे हैं किस रियलिटी को बता रहे हैं और उसके संदर्भ में क्या स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट्स हैं क्या मतलब सब रियलिटीज क्या हैं तो जैसे हम अगर प्रोस्पेरिटी के बारे बात कर रहे हैं तो प्रोस्पेरिटी का मतलब ये है कि जितना हमारी जरूरत है फिजिकल फैसिलिटी के उससे अधिक को हम उत्पादन कर पा रहे हैं उपलब्ध कर पा रहे हैं और उससे जो भाव बन रहा है वो प्रोस्पेरिटी है तो तीन एस्पेक्ट है इसमें एक तो एस्पेक्ट है कि प्रोस्पेरिटी का एक फीलिंग होता है सो इट इज ए फीलिंग दूसरा ये एस्पेक्ट है कि इट इज रिलेटेड टू द नीड ऑफ माय बॉडी और तीसरी बात यह है कि उससे जितना जरूरत है उससे अधिक का हम उत्पादन कर पा रहे हैं है ना या उपलब्ध करा पा रहे हैं अब ये तीन पॉइंट है जो हमको कम्युनिकेट करने हैं अपने दूसरे से तो हम तीन पॉइंट्स को कम्युनिकेट करने का प्रयास करेंगे उसको करने के लिए फिर जितने उदाहरण जो भी एक्टिविटी जो भी लेना हम लेंगे बट लौट कर उन बिंदु पर आ जाएंगे फिर ये तीन बिंदु को स्पष्ट करने के बाद लौट कर हम प्रोस्पेरिटी क्या है इस पर वापस आ जाएंगे क्योंकि वो हमारा मुख्य बिंदु है जिसको हम एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हैं ये क्लैरिटी अपने को हो तो हमारा एक्सप्रेशन उसमें यूजफुल हो जाता है ये क्लैरिटी नहीं रहे तो बहुत बार हम एक्सप्रेशन में खो जाते हैं तो जैसे अभी मैं आप लोगों से प्रश्न के लिए कह रहा हूं कि आप इस बारे में जो भी आपके व्यूज हैं आप रखिए जो प्रश्न है हम बताते हैं उसको वापस रिस्पॉन्ड करते हैं बट आप जितने भी प्रश्न पूछेंगे हम इसका ध्यान रखते हैं कि वो प्रश्न अभी जो बात कही जा रही है उससे रिलेटेड है कि नहीं तो अभी श्री लेखा जी ने जो दूसरा प्रश्न पूछा था वो इससे रिलेटेड नहीं था अगर मैं उसको रिस्पॉन्ड करने जाता तो जो मूल वस्तु जिस पर हम लोग बात कर रहे थे उससे डायग्रेस हो जाते तो मैंने उनसे कहा कि इस पर हम लोग बात बात कर लेंगे तो वो क्लैरिटी अपने को चाहिए कि क्या कंटेंट क्या रियलिटी के बारे में अभी हम बताना चाह रहे हैं वो फोकस में रहे उसके लिए सब पॉइंट्स क्या है वो फोकस में रहे किसी एक सब पॉइंट को जब हम एक्सपेंड कर रहे हैं तो उसको हम प्रॉपरली प्लेस कर सकें लोगों को एक्सप्लोर करने के लिए हम फैसिलिटेट कर सकें लौट कर उनके कोई प्रश्न है तो उसको हम रिस्पॉन्ड कर सकें अगर उनको नहीं समझ में आ रहा है तो उसके लिए स्पेसिफिक एग्जांपल्स दे सकें एक्टिविटी दे सकें एक्सरसाइज दे सकें प्रोजेक्ट दे सकें है ना लेकिन ये सब करते हुए लौट कर हम अपने बिंदु पर वापस आ सकें उसको प्रॉपरली प्रो प्लेस कर सकें रिन्फोर्स कर सकें 
ये ध्यान देने की बात है जी सर राजल भाई इसको ट्रांसलेट करना चाहे तो कर दीजिए सो द बेसिक इशू इज हाउ वी कम्युनिकेट वेदर इट इज व्यवहारिक और वेदर इट इज सॉर्ट ऑफ थियोरेटिकल एक्सपोजिशन थ्रू थॉट सो दैट is the main thing that i got out of this so we, our effort can be for uh, uh, making things very relational very con uh, very relevant to the people from wherever they may be so whichever stage that they are at we talk to them about uh, the content from that stage and we keep coming back to the content the core content the key proposals the key concepts after every example after every exercise after any activity that we do so that it reinforces the core content uh, through all of these different uh, means if we are only giving the core content that is also not enough and if we are only giving the activities without wrapping it up uh, and returning the focus to what the core uh, proposal is this yes. is also not enough so yes briefly i mean i'm wording it in my own words yeah and and all this is to be done with a feeling of responsibility feeling of relationship yes and feeling of responsibility yes in relationship yes in the given time and without going into you know too many details of you know i've seen people have given uh, that self is continuous in basic workshops or that uh, there are life after life in very you know introductory workshops so you have to stick to the core content uh, rather than you know trying to show that we know more than uh, something else you know so it is we have to stick to the syllabus uh yeah i mean i would say that uh kind of focusing on the uh, core content which is mentioned there but along with that this feeling of concern feeling of relationship and feeling of responsibility is i would say very important that same defined content can be shared with this feeling of relationship and feeling of commitment feeling of responsibility so i am mean not in a rush to complete the course but i am responsible you know so that is important i would say very true ganeshi many times the content is going as a uh, sort of uh, if it is going you know without that feeling it looks very uh, dry तो उसमें कभी कभी सिचुएशन ऐसी होती है की अगर हम क्लास में स्टूडेंट से इंटरेक्ट कर रहे हैं तो तो हम लंबे समय तक उनसे बात करने वाले हैं तो उनको ओपन छोड़ने का और तुरंत रिस्पॉन्ड ना करने का एक स्कोप बना रहता है और ताकि उनके अंदर सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन हम इनिशिएट कर पाए और वो खुद उस चीज तक पहुंच पाए लेकिन कभी लिमिटेड टाइम की जो वर्कशॉप है थ्री डेज की उसमें एक चीज मुझे पूछनी थी कि कभी कभी पार्टिसिपेंट का कुछ क्वेश्चन होता है तो हम अपने एक्सप्लोरेशन के हिसाब से जो हमने एक्सप्लोर किया है उस बारे में कंटेंट के बारे में उस हिसाब से उसको रिस्पॉन्ड अगर नहीं करते हैं तुरंत मतलब एक रेडीमेड आंसर नहीं देते हैं तो कभी कभी ये देखा है कि पार्टिसिपेंट एकदम डिस्ट्रैक्ट हो जाता है फिर वो ध्यान आगे नहीं दे पाता क्योंकि वो अपने प्रश्न में उलझा हुआ है लेकिन ये भी मैंने फील किया कि अगर उसको एक रेडीमेड आंसर 
अपने एक्सप्लोरेशन के थ्रू दे दिया जाए तो फिर वो ऐसा लगता है कि वो सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन की जो प्रोसेस है वो इनिशिएट नहीं हो पाती है ऐसे में थोड़ी एक दुविधा बन जाती है कि वो उस समय उसको कनेक्टेड रखने के लिए वो उत्तर दिया जाए या सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन इनिशिएट करने के लिए ओपन छोड़ा जाए अल्टीमेटली हमको दोनों ही करने पड़ते हैं है ना कि जो कुछ हमने देखा है उसको हम शेयर भी कर सकते हैं बट वो शेयर करने का आशय यह है कि उसके अंदर जो सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन होना है उस पर उसका ध्यान चला जाए और वो सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन के प्रोसेस में उसको थोड़ी और हेल्प मिल जाए वो फैसिलिटेट हो जाए हम उसके सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन को रिप्लेस नहीं कर सकते तो हम उसको रेडीमेड आंसर नहीं दे सकते जी। हम उसको कोर कंटेंट पर ध्यान दिला सकते हैं उसको एक्सप्लोर करने की तरफ ध्यान दिला सकते हैं उस एक्सप्लोरेशन का प्रोसेस जो हो रहा है उसमें जो प्रश्न उठ रहे हैं उसको अगर मैं अभी उत्तर दे सकता हूं तो मैं उत्तर दे देता हूं बट हमारा उत्तर कंप्लीट हो जाएगा ऐसा नहीं होने वाला उसको तो एक्सप्लोर करना ही पड़ेगा वो एक्सप्लोर करेगा मेनी टाइम्स है ना विथ अप्स एंड डाउन्स और किसी समय पर उसको अपने में दिखेगी वो रियलिटी तब उसका एक्सप्लोरेशन पूरा होगा उस रियलिटी के संदर्भ में तब तक तो उसको इन्वेस्ट करना ही पड़ेगा अपने आप को और वो इन्वेस्ट कर रहेगा अपने को और हम उसको फैसिलिटेट करेंगे उसमें इसीलिए हम लोगों ने उस नाम रखा फैसिलिटेटर इस नाम रखा को एक्सप्लोरर कि हम लोग साथ साथ मिलकर एक्सप्लोर कर रहे हैं फैसिलिटेट कर रहे हैं प्रोसेस तो हमारा भी चल रहा है दूसरे का भी चल रहा है हम दोनों दूसरे को फैसिलिटेट कर रहे हैं तो फाइनल आंसर देने की बात नहीं है फाइनल आंसर तो सिर्फ प्रपोजल के रूप में है है ना लेकिन वो प्रपोजल उनको जब दिख जाता है तो उनके लिए फाइनल आंसर है हमको दिख जाता है तो हमारे लिए फाइनल आंसर है तब तक वो प्रपोजल है फॉर इच वन ऑफ अस टू एक्सप्लोर ये बात हमको क्लियर होनी चाहिए और हम जो भी कम्युनिकेट कर रहे हैं उसी क्लैरिटी के साथ करें तो अभी आपके प्रश्न का मैं उत्तर दे देता हूं और उसको आपको उत्तर मिल जाता है पूरा ऐसा नहीं आपके प्रश्न का उत्तर में मैं ये ध्यान दिलाता हूं कि किन बिंदु पर एक्सप्लोरेशन करना है और एक्सप्लोरेशन के प्रोसेस के संदर्भ में क्या ध्यान देने की बात है इतना जब मैं करता हूं तो उससे आपका ध्यान जानने का काम होता है और उसमें एक्सप्लोर करने का फैसिलिटेशन होता है उस प्रोसेस से आपको किसी समय दिख जाता है वास्तविकता रियलिटी हाँ तो हम आंसर कंप्लीट तो दे भी नहीं सकते उसके लिए अभी जो है आ, ये जो मतलब अभी जिस स्टेज पर हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं उसका फाइनल उत्तर देने का स्थिति है ही नहीं हमको है ना और है भी तो भी हम दूसरे के लिए उसको नहीं प्लेस कर रहे हैं हम तो ये कहेंगे कि भाई हमने कुछ देखा एक्सप्लोर किया हमको दिख गया बट आपके लिए तो ये प्रस्ताव ही है आपके लिए फाइनल उत्तर नहीं है आपके लिए एक प्रस्ताव है जिसको आपको अब एक्सप्लोर करना है जब आप एक्सप्लोर करके आप देख लेंगे तब आपके लिए वो उत्तर होगा so when there is a question then is it our responsibility to you know give a ready made solution or to point to the reality that is associated with that question so the uh, other person who is asking the question is asking the question which is related to some reality so for example if the question is about anger the relate, related the reality is trust is relationship so the anger we can say you know have a pause before responding and things like that so those are sort of ready made answer but if we are able to say that you know, we have to understand trust 
and see that every human being is like me with a similar natural acceptance or same natural acceptance. So that exploration may take a long time for the person to you know, get to. But unless that happens, the answer is not going to be fulfilling for the other person. So our role as a facilitator is to identify what is the reality that this person is talking about. To identify how much of this reality uh, the person asking the question has been able to explore and where they are so that you can suggest to them to explore the next part of that. So that will help them to uh, uh, have clarity on the underlying reality. And with that, they'll be able to resolve the issue that is outside, that is the expression of the lack of understanding. So we have to work at the level of understanding rather than at the level of thought or doing. So. We can move to the next slide. Yes. So we'll continue with this what to share. So if you ask what to share, ultimately to ultimately we have to share the existential reality. Reality which exists, right? That existential reality is to be shared. And what is that existential reality? These three things coexistence, harmony, and relationship. So there is coexistence, there is harmony, there is relationship. That's how the existence is, how the the nature is. And therefore, Basically, I have to share this existential reality. And in relation to this existential reality, these are the statements which are written in Hindi. I can translate them in English. So it says, whatever is there is by way of coexistence harmony and relationship. Number one. Number two, whatever has to happen, has to happen by way of coexistence, harmony and relationship. And therefore, whatever I have to do, I have to do in accordance with the coexistence, harmony and relationship. So very interesting, right? So whatever is there is by way of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. Whatever is going to happen is by way of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And therefore, whatever I have to do is by way of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. So if this clarity comes to me, then I am able to understand this coexistence, harmony, and relationship. I have the feeling of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And I'm living in my behavior and work in accordance with coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And by way of this, I'm in harmony within. I'm in a state of happiness within. And I'm in harmony with the world outside. And if you expand on this Sastit, Vyastha and Samban, the coexistence, harmony and relationship, the coexistence can be seen as the units in space or units submerged in space. And there are two types of units broadly, the material unit and the consciousness units. 
So we have the space and we have the units in space. And these units are of two types, the material units and the consciousness unit. And if you expand on all this, this is how it looks, right? These units can be expanded into material and consciousness unit. It can also be expanded further into physical order, bio order, animal order, and human order. So all these details are given here. In fact, I, I will suggest, you know, suggest that each one of you should go through this book, EHV2 book, you know, uh, in detail. It's a very brief account of all that we are talking about, but at lot of details are given. So you must go through the book and see what basically this coexistence means. It means units submerged in space. And units are of two types, the metal unit and the consciousness unit. The metal units can be further divided into physical order and bio order. And this consciousness unit along with the bio order can be seen as animal order and human order. And the all the details about the physical order and the bio order and the animal order and can further be seen. And the possibility that is there in human being in terms of ensuring right understanding, right feeling, and in terms of definite human conduct. Then can go back one slide, Hallelujah. Can we go one slide back, Rajiv? Yeah. So, no, no. This forward. Yeah. So, one thing was this coexistence is in terms of the units and submerged in space. Where yeah, there are two units the material units and the consciousness units. Then this harmony. So if you look at harmony, there is harmony or possibility of harmony in oneself, possibility of harmony in other units or every unit, and ultimately the whole nature. Then there is this relationship, relationship in mutual relationship of one unit with another unit. So coexistence is in terms of unit submerged in space, the material and the consciousness unit submerged in space. Harmony is in terms of harmony at the level of oneself, at the level of other units, and ultimately at the level of whole nature. And relationship is in terms of Relationship of one unit with another unit. A relationship of mutual fulfillment. Now, this harmony and relationship is expressed as harmony at different levels. At the level of human being, family, society, nature and existence. And if you remember, this is what you know we are talking about in EHV2. Understanding of this harmony at different levels. And living in harmony at different levels from self to entire existence. And this ultimately leads to a state of harmony and happiness within, state of continuity of happiness within. So coexistence, harmony and relationship is what it is. And this is what has to happen. And therefore what I have to do is in accordance with this.
So what is to be shared is this coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And how to be shared is by way of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And why to share is to ensure this coexistence, harmony, and relationship. So in essence, all that is, all that has to happen and the way we have to do it is by way of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. And the specific details can be seen in each of these courses, you know. So any course that we are talking about is essentially trying to expand on this. And that I have broadly placed from UHV 1 to UHV 8. Yes. भैया मेरे ना इस पूरे अपने को देखने में जो मेरी स्थिति है उसमें मेरे दो प्रश्न है पहला प्रश्न ये है कि मैं जितना मानने से जानने पे पहुंचती हूँ पहुंच पाती हूँ उतने कंटेंट को तो मैं बहुत स्थिरता के साथ रख पाती हूँ और वहां पर मैं बहुत कंफर्टेबल रहती हूँ पर इसमें से मेरी भी गति उतनी नहीं अभी मैं देख पाती हूँ कि मैं मैंने पूरा जान ही लिया है तो वहां पर मेरी फसावट रहती है अभी तो उसके कारण बहुत सारे जगह पर कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं दिखता है मुझ में Yes. और दूसरा ये है कि जैसे जितना भी मैं रख पाती हूँ उसके बाद भी जो ऑब्जर्वेशन आते हैं और जो दूसरों की तरफ से एक मेरे लिए एक व्यवहार का चेंज मैं देख पाती हूँ कि एज अ काउंसलर देखने लगते हैं मुझे या एज अ समथिंग बेटर देखने लगते हैं तो मुझ में आ, मतलब साफ साफ दिखता है कि मैं अनकम्फर्टेबल हो जाती हूँ उस चीज के साथ में तो इन दोनों समस्याओं के साथ में किस तरीके से निकला जाए देखिए इस पर हम लोगों ने बहुत सारी बातें पास्ट में की हैं ओवर लास्ट आई वुड से एटलीस्ट फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन इयर्स तो एक तो ये बात प्रश्न आया कि भाई जब तक हमको कम्प्लीटली दिखा नहीं है तब तक हम शेयर करें कि ना करें तो उसका जो उत्तर हम लोगों को मिला वो ये मिला कि हम शेयर करें बट एज ए एक्सप्लोर एक रियलिटी के बारे हमको ध्यान गया है मैं उसको देख रहा हूँ समझ रहा हूँ ठीक है ना और मुझे ये महत्वपूर्ण लगता है यूजफुल लगता है इसलिए मैं आपका भी ध्यान आकर्षण करा रहा हूँ तो मैं भी एक्सप्लोरेशन के प्रोसेस में हूँ आप भी एक्सप्लोरेशन के प्रोसेस में होंगे तो आपके लिए भी अच्छा रहेगा और हम दोनों एक दूसरे को सहयोग कर सकते हैं वो फैसिलिटेट कर सकते हैं ये बात कह रहे हैं इस प्रोसेस से चलेंगे तो मुझे लगता है कि हमारे ऊपर उतना लोड नहीं आएगा कहीं ना कहीं दूसरा हमसे ऐसा एक्सपेक्टेशन रखने लगता है और हम भी कहीं ना कहीं अपने आप में ऐसा एज्यूम करने लगते हैं इसलिए वो लोड ज्यादा आता है ना तो दूसरा तो अपने ढंग से एक्सपेक्ट करेगा ही हम अपना मूल्यांकन ठीक रखें तो जैसे मैं इस बात को हमेशा क्लियर रखता हूं कि मैं आपको समझने में सहयोग कर सकता हूं मैं आपको समझा नहीं सकता हूं समझने का काम तो आप ही को करना पड़ता है हमेशा तो मैं उसका ध्यानाकर्षण करा सकता हूं उस बारे में 
और उसके बारे जितना हमारी जानकारी में है उतना मैं आपके सामने रख सकता हूं लेकिन मैं आपको समझदार बना दूंगा ऐसा नहीं होता समझदार तो आपको खुद ही बनना पड़ता है एक्सप्लोरेशन तो आपको खुद ही करना पड़ता है तो ये क्लैरिटी अगर मेरे में है तो आप कोई प्रश्न पूछते हैं तो मैं उसका उत्तर देता हूँ जिम्मेदारी से मैं कोई बात को रखना चाहता हूँ मैं रखता हूँ आपका ध्यान आकर्षण कराता हूँ उसको एक्सप्लोर करने के लिए उस एक्सप्लोरेशन में कोई प्रश्न होता है उसका मैं रिस्पॉन्ड करता हूँ बट मैं ये आग्रह नहीं रखता हूँ कि आप समझ ही जाए वो तो आपकी जिम्मेदारी का काम है मैं आपका ध्यान आकर्षण करा सकता हूँ उस प्रोसेस में आपको फैसिलिटेट कर सकता हूँ बट समझना तो आपको ही पड़ता है ये क्लैरिटी हमारे पास होगी तो हमारे पर ये दबाव नहीं बनेगा जो अभी बन रहा है आपने कहा बताया ठीक है ना इसी तरह से इसी तरह से काउंसलिंग वाली भी बात है कि मैं एक संबंधी के रूप में दूसरे को देखता हूँ उसमें जो सहयोग कर सकता हूँ वो मैं करता हूँ बट उससे उसका उपाय निकल ही जाएगा इसकी गारंटी नहीं है उपाय तो तब निकलेगा जब मेरी बात भी सही हो मेरे बात करने का ढंग भी सही हो उस तक बात गई भी हो उसने अपने पर एक्सप्लोर भी किया हो और फिर उसको अपने में उसको इम्प्लीमेंट करके भी देखा हो इतने पांच चीजों के साथ वे पॉसिबल होगा इसमें से कोई भी चीज अगर नहीं होगी तो फिर वो नहीं होगा तो जैसे मैं तो ये चाहता हूं कि सभी लोग समझदार हो जाएं, लेकिन जितनी मेरी सीमा है उसके साथ मैं दूसरे तक पहुंचने की कोशिश करता हूं उसके साथ शेयर करता हूं उसको फैसिलिटेट करने की कोशिश करता हूं लेकिन उसका जितना ध्यान जाता है वो जाता है जितना अभी तक का उसके संस्कार है उसके साथ वो उस पर काम करता है उसको जितना दिखता है जितना दिखा उतना उसको समझ में आया उस पर वो आगे काम करेगा अभी जो नहीं दिखा है उस पर वो काम नहीं कर सकता है ना उसका ध्यान भी नहीं जाता बहुत समय तक ठीक है कि नहीं? the underlying reality but we cannot make them understand so we can only help them to explore and unless they explore themselves they also will not be able to understand and then live a fulfilling life so um, <clears throat> we cannot give them this right ready made kind of answer tools and tools uh, in terms of counseling so what we can do is to number one place the proposal carefully and uh, sincerely with what the right proposal is what i am placing should be the right proposal it should be able to i should place it with the right feeling it should reach the other person they should be able to evaluate the feeling as well as the proposal explore it within understand the reality and then they can resolve their issue uh, so that uh, process has to be followed if we try to convince the other person then uh, it may not work or it does not work actually so uh, our effort has to be to facilitate the other to understand the underlying reality that we have either understood or we are still exploring so we are going to facilitate it as a co explorer so that uh, uh, was the response i would say ganeshi ki it is already 1 o'clock now yeah so, so i just we... sum up i'll sum up in 1 minute yes yes please uh, <clears throat> so um, 
my idea of this interaction was not only to deliver some core content, but the main idea was to relate to you. So I thought that many of uh, uh, the uh, people who are already working on in this whole process of EHV team, I may not have had any direct, you know, kind of communication with them. So I thought it is worth you know, kind of connecting through this kind of uh, session. So that was the main purpose with which we uh, connected. And in the process, I thought that something, uh, you know, in a sense can also be communicated. So I have done some part of it, but I would suggest that you go through this, uh, uh, what has been mentioned by Rajulji, you know, in terms of already available literatures. So if you go through them, you will have more concrete questions to ask. So next time when I meet, you may ask me those questions and I would like to respond. And some core content also, whatever is remaining, I can just briefly present next time. So this time it was fine. From my side, I have made an effort. I hope it has been meaningful for you. And we will continue. Yes, Rajulji, now you can take over. Yes, so thank you, Ganeshi. Uh, shall we, Ganeshi, shall we make uh, the next uh, schedule for 26th, Sunday 26th, one week from now? Uh, no, we cannot make it on next Sunday. Uh, what time you want to keep? I mean, whatever time is free for you, that would be okay. Or Saturday, you can keep the Saturday. Next Saturday, there will be a set of weekly meetings also. So we have to see. We can keep it. Time. We can keep it on uh, next Sunday from ten o'clock if it is not very inconvenient. When is the weekly meeting? No, I am saying on Sunday itself, we can keep it from 10 to 1. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. And if it, is, if it is Saturday, it is okay for me. Okay, Sunday 10 to 1, if anybody has any, this one, uh, they can tell if there is any other meeting that they have to go to. Otherwise, we will keep it for Sunday 10 to 1. No, 10 to 12, I mean. I mean, sorry, 10 to 12, 10 to 12. Okay, so you plan out and let yeah. me know. Okay, so yeah. 10 to 12 on Sunday, uh, 26, we will meet. And in the meantime, the homework uh, has been given in the sheet. But this is, uh, I've added some things over here. There are three documents that you can read in addition to looking at the recording, either Hindi recording or English recording or both uh, on how to share values. The other documents to read are the textbook and teacher's manual, or at least the textbook. And then the uh, document on UHV for holistic value-based education. There is a two-page abstract that can give you the gist of this document. So you can go through that. And if you can go through the contents also, you will find some useful things for you. So you can go through that. These two things in this document, UHV for HVBE. And the third thing is the document for UHV cell. This UHV cell document will be particularly useful for the coordination team, the RCs, the UCs, and the uh, uh, coordinators of the nodal centers, potential nodal centers. So uh, that's the homework. And uh, thank you very much, all of you, for being there. There are, at the peak of it, we had 91 people. Uh, we have recorded all the people who were here. So we hope to see you next Sunday at 10 o'clock. Thank you very much. Namaste to all. Namaste. 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 Namaste.